Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now listen to the music that I'll be playing. Imagine learning in a relaxed environment, a very calm ambience, an organized classroom, and a soothing music playing in the background. What a good day to learn! Hello everyone, I am Raiden Ayuban. And I am Joko Contado, and today we will be discussing suggestive... For today's topic, we should be able to understand the definition of suggestopedia. Describe and analyze its features and examples. And devise an impression of the approach. Before we start the discussion, let us try to close our eyes and listen to my voice. Then, think of an adjective of how learning should be conducted while I play the music. Should learning be fun? Is it supposed to be interactive? Must the teacher be supportive? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. So, what is Suggestopedia? Suggestopedia gets its name from the word suggestion in pedagogy. When it was first created in the 1970s, the approach utilized positive suggestions to teaching. It is the newest of the six primary foreign language teaching methods known to language education professionals. Luzanov, the proponent of this approach, claims that children have brains that are more delicate more than those of adults. Therefore, a different approach should be applied to children. It is also said that Suggestopedia approach promotes learning, and some of the characteristics of this method have to do with decorating, furniture, classroom organization, and the use of music. The purpose of using music is to relax students, gives linguistics information a rhythm, and boosts their attentiveness. Luzanov claims that a relaxed but focused is the optimum state for learning. So, in order to create this relaxed state, Suggestopedia uses music, creating a relaxing and comfortable environment and the relationship between the teacher and student that is the same as the parent-child relationship. Thanks, Joko. Well, for you to have a deeper understanding of Suggestopedia approach, let me discuss to you its features and present some examples. Suggestopedia has five features. First on the list is comfortable environment. In Suggestopedia approach, the classroom is not the same as common classrooms. In the classroom, the chairs are arranged in semicircles, facing the black or white board in order to make the students pay more attention and get more relaxed. The light in the classroom is dim in order to make the students' mind more relaxed. Next one is the use of music. One of the most unique features of this method is the use of Baroque music during the learning process. Baroque music with its 60 beats per minute and its specific rhythm created the kind of relaxed states of mind for maximum retention of material. It is believed that the Baroque music creates a level of relaxed concentration that facilitates the input and retention of huge quantities of materials. The use of music also depends on the expected skills of the students. Listening, grammar, pronunciation, discussion, etc. Third on the list is peripheral learning. The students learn language not only from the direct instruction but also from the indirect one. It is encouraged through the presence in the learning environment of posters and decoration featuring the target language and various grammatical information. They are changed every day. They learn how to produce simple sentences by using the posters or grammatical information for instance. Next is free errors. In the teaching learning process, students who make mistakes are tolerated, for example, in pronouncing the word. The emphasis is on the content, not the structure. Grammar and vocabularies are presented and given treatment from the teachers, but not dwelt on. Lastly, homework is limited. Students reread materials given in the classroom once before they go to sleep at night and once in the morning before they get up. Wow! That was an interesting discussion, Raiden. At this point, let me discuss the four principles of Suggestopedia. First one is positive approach. This means that everything must be positive, including mistakes. 
When students make mistakes, they actually learn something new from it. Next one is short-term and long-term memory. In this way, the students do not forget what was told to them after four days. Third one is emotional meaning. People seem to remember easier when emotions are given to the information. This is why the students will be given new identities so that they will feel relaxed and self-confident. The last one is assimilation before analysis. Once the students assimilate, they have greater pleasure and facility. Moving forward on how to apply Suggestopedia as a method of teaching inside the classroom. First, use music to facilitate learning. Choose background music that will make you feel like you're in the middle of a forest. The music could be punctuated by the sounds of birds singing, leaves dancing in the breeze, or any other sound that indicates the places in the woods. Turn out the lights and put on some background music in the classroom. Then, divide the students into three groups and ask them to close their eyes and imagine they are animals, or birds, or trees, or flowers for one minute. Then, ask them to start discussions about how people should care for the environment. However, they must remember their duties during their interactions. If one imagines oneself as a bird, one's point of view in discussion should reflect that of a bird, not a human. Second, tell stories. Another option to use Suggestopedia as a teaching tool is to use stories to help students learn. This is how the process works. Pick a story to tell. Experiment with reading the story with different emotions or feelings. Then, for the story, select appropriate background music. It's great if you prepare it ahead of time. Inside the classroom, tell the students to unwind and become comfortable. Allow children to sit on the floor or lie down and interact with their peers, or sit at their desks and listen alone. Then, dim the lights. Turn on some music and begin reading the story. You might interject with questions to ensure that they are paying attention and that their motivation is maintained. Don't address the kids' grammatical mistakes right away when answering their queries. First and foremost, concentrate on the information. You can give the correct form in the later part of the lesson before you finish it. Now that we learned already the features of Suggestopedia and its examples, let's discuss the roles of the teachers and the students. The main role of teachers is to remove the psychological barriers that learners bring with them to the situation. The educator must speak confidently and give the students the impression that learning the target language will be fun and easy. Teachers utilizing the approach should not act in a directive way. Instead, they should act as partners to their students, participating in the conducted activities such as games and songs maturely and genuinely. Next, we'll discuss the role of the student. The learners must maintain a pseudo-passive state. They must not try to figure out, manipulate, or study the material presented. Therefore, they must have faith in the system and accept that they are in a childlike situation where they follow the teacher or parent. Also, they must not be critical or should simply absorb what is presented. Students should also anticipate their own infantilization. This is accomplished by acknowledging that the teacher has the absolute authority and should give in to the activities and techniques designed for them in order to regain the self-confidence, spontaneity, and receptivity of a child. At this point, let me share to you our impressions of the approach Suggestopedia. Suggestopedia is a dynamic and unique teaching technique based on a new way of thinking about education. This strategy arranges content in particular ways that the mind can recall spontaneously and then integrates it into what the learner already knows. Teachers can use Suggestopedia as a teaching method. It provides some valuable insights into the power of cognition and creates techniques that make students feel comfortable, relaxed, and suggestible to the material being learned. The teacher can easily apply this method in class because it is an effective method to make students feel joyful about learning any language. During the process of teaching, Suggestopedia appropriately uses environment suggestion, figure suggestion, activity suggestion, 
and self-suggestion to enhance language teaching. The process is usually accompanied with music or some games or drama to achieve the success of learning. Teachers will find different situations in different types of students in learning. Therefore, teachers should be creative and smart in choosing and using different types of methods in teaching different skills of language. Teachers can use Suggestopedia as a teaching method in their teaching. Using Suggestopedia is very interesting but challenging to do. It can be seen from some considerations. On one side, it has some benefits, but on the other side, it also has some weaknesses. That is all for our topic. I hope you learned something and thank you for listening.